Hi guys, I wanted to show you an easy walkthrough on how to create breakout rooms in um, Google Meet. Um, this is a powerful tool for you to use in your classrooms to uh, encourage student engagement. Um, it also is a great way for um, you to be able to differentiate for your students. Um, so um, it's pretty straightforward. You need a couple of add-ons and I've created a um, document here to walk you through the steps. Um, plus, I'm creating this video, which I'll link in that as well. Um, so hopefully this uh, will make it easy for you to work through the process. All right. So before you get started, you're going to need to add a couple of extensions. The first one is Mute tab. When you uh, click on the link here um, and it takes you to Mute tab, you'll notice for me that it already it has uh, removed from Chrome. That's because I've already added it here. What Mute tab does is it allows you to mute the sound coming from each uh, uh, coming from a particular tab in your browser um, because what you're going to do when you create these breakout rooms you're going to have different tabs open one for each breakout room that you have and you can imagine if all the kids are talking on th that tab at the same time for you it's going to be very loud and annoying so what mute tab allows you to do is mute the sound coming from that individual tab and the way that you do that there's this little button right here up in the upper right hand corner um, and that is um, the mute tab button all right um, the next uh, extension you need is grid view you may already have this already if you've uh, done something with google meet what grid view does is allows you to see all of the participants in your Google Meet session in a grid view uh, right here. If you're not sure if you had it already, um, I mean, it'll pop up here and it'll tell you if it says remove from Chrome, that means that you don't have it. I mean, that you do have it. If it says add to Chrome, that means that you don't have it. But if you want to check, if you go in the upper right hand corner here, there's this puzzle piece. Um, you see if when I hover over that, it says extensions. I click on that and this brings up all the extensions that have been added to Google Chrome. Um, the pen here um, pins it to, to your toolbar, um, and um, this allows you to pin or unpin, um, which will um, keep your toolbar from getting cluttered up with things that you may not be using. Uh, using. So you see my, my the blue here means that um, it is uh, pinned to the toolbar. So there's my Bitmoji extension. There's my Bitmoji extension. Um, but you see here that like Dropbox for Gmail, not in, in pinned to my toolbar. So you can pin or unpin. You can also, if you click on the three dots here, you can remove that extension from Chrome. So uh, good for you to know there on how to manage your extensions. It's that puzzle piece in the upper right hand corner. All right. So you've got your extensions added in. The next thing that you want to do is you want to go to um, Google Classroom. So I'm going to open up, um, go to my waffle here, open up a new tab, go to the waffle, scroll down, Google Classroom. And then here are all of my Google Classrooms that I have set up. Um, you might have it set up uh, based on period of the day uh, or uh, based on the subject that you're teaching. Um, there may be all kinds of ways that you may have your classrooms set up, um, but this is the way that I have mine set up. And, and so I want to create um, breakout rooms for a particular group. And this particular uh, event, I can use the same links that I'm creating for my breakout rooms in all of the other uh, um, groups that I'm going to be working with, as long as I don't have groups of students trying to access the same breakout room from different periods. So for example, if I have first period um, and I've created a list of breakout rooms, um, if I share those same links for breakout rooms with second period, um, the kids could cross over there and, and uh, that could create a mess. So just keep that in mind. You don't have to do this process for every single classroom, although you can. Um, you, but uh, if you're not going to create them for every single classroom, you need to keep in mind there may be some crossover there and you want to uh, make sure that you are managing that. So I'm going to use my elementary science uh, classroom as um, my first period classroom. Um, and I've created a permanent Google Meet link uh, in the classroom. That means that this link will be the one that my students will use to join me live at 9 a.m. Um, you know, on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday when I'm doing my synchronous sessions with them. Um, so that's the link that they, they can join. So all that they have to do is go into their Google Classroom, come into that particular Google Classroom that you've set up for them, and click on that Meet link, and they can directly join you once you're in the session. All right, so that's, um, that's my home session uh, link. And that one, I'm going to take and right-click on it and copy that link address 
um, so that I can paste it into this document. So in this document, I've got um, my main room and then my breakout rooms. So here's my, my main room. I'm going to, you can see I've already I pasted it in, but I'll highlight it, click on the insert link, right click and paste the, um, the link that I have there. And that will allow them to access the main classroom uh, meet link every time. I've uh, broken up my rooms. I want to have four uh, breakout rooms and you can do this for as many rooms as you need. And I've split the students up uh, in those rooms. You know, y'all have all kinds of different ways of managing your small groups within your rooms that the same can be applied here. You know, maybe it's the red group, the blue group, the green group, the yellow group, whatever, um, just so that the students know which room they're supposed to go into. So um, I've got my main room linked here. Um, if on this document and the students will be able to refer to this document to see where they're um, going to be assigned to, what room they're going to be assigned to, and it'll also make it easier for them to get back to the main room. Uh, you can do it in Google Docs or you can do it um, like I did here with a Google uh, slide sheet. Um, you might like this better because it, it allows you a little bit more creativity with the formatting and that kind of stuff. Um, it's up to you either way, as long as you have a way for the students to see which rooms they've um, been assigned to. Okay, next, I'm going to open a new tab, click on the waffle, scroll down to Google Meet. Then I'm going to click join or start a meeting. I'm going to call this sample room one and then click continue. Notice it's going to start the room up. All right, um, I can um, copy this link here, copy, then go back to my document, highlight it, click on the uh, link button, right click, paste it in there. And now that link is available for Mike, Larry, Sheila, Toby, and Mary to be able to click on to go into breakout room one. Um, and so I'll repeat this process uh, again for my other breakout rooms. So this is sample room, sample room two. Now I've got this link, copy it, go back to my doc, click it, paste it, and there you go. So now Donald, Paula, uh, Michelle, and Phil can access their, their room. And so you're going to repeat this process um, for each of the rooms that you're doing. Now you'll notice up here that I've got um, these rooms open in individual tabs. Um, and if you can imagine, um, there are kids talking in these tabs as they're joining the room. Um, so all you need to do is click on the mute um, that tab. Um, that's that little button right there. And that will mute the sound coming from this tab. Then I'll go over here and mute the sound coming from that tab. That way that my life is a little easier. Um, uh, when So I'm not hearing all of the kids joining their individual rooms talking. Um, then when I want to go in, okay, I'm in room one here. Um, this is the one with um, uh, Toby, Mary, Sally, all of those folks. I want to hear what they're having to say. Just unmute um, and I can um, I can uh, un turn on my camera and they'll know that I'm in there. Um, you can also click on this link here um, that will turn this into grid view and it will um, do highlight all of the speakers in the room and you'll see individual uh, students that are in there as well. Um, so there you go. So that's how you set up your, uh, your breakout rooms. Um, so you can see that I've got my breakout rooms going on. Now they're all in here um, ready to go. Um, I've got my grid view uh, set up and my uh, um, mute tab ready to go. 
Um, and what I would do I, before I would send my students to the breakout room is I would have each of these um, breakout tabs already open and me in them um, so that I can manage what's going on in the classroom. Um, you want to make sure that once the students are into these breakout rooms that you continually check back with them to make sure that um, they're um, following appropriate guidelines for uh, online learning, uh, making sure that uh, they're being kind to each other, those kind of things. Um, when you are in um, the main classroom um, and you want your students to be able to see that uh, document where um, you're breaking them out, um, there's a really easy way to do it. And so what you do here so here's my document, my breakout rooms, or this one, whichever one you want to use, right? I click on the share button, right? Uh, I copy the link for that particular uh, document. Then I go back into my uh, meeting room where I'm at with all the kids. I go over here to the chat box. And then down here, let me get my head out of the way. Down here, I um, copy and paste that link to that document in the chat box. Then they can click on it, open it up, and see, oh, there I am. I'm in room two, so let me open room two. And they should be able to jump in and use uh, that. Uh, you can hear a little bit of feedback there. I click on my mute tab so that I don't have that. But there you go. You get the idea. Um, I hope this is, is simple. I'm going to share this document with you so that you can see uh, how to create these uh, breakout rooms. And I hope this is, uh, video has been helpful.